in the topic mathematical logic you are having a word logic so what is meant by a logic right logic logic is the ability logic is the ability to develop thinking or reasoning logic is the ability to develop thinking or reasoning sentence to communicate ideas are thought to communicate ideas are thought we use sentences in some specific languages to communicate ideas or thoughts we use sentences in some specific languages statement yes sentence which is either true or false but not both is called a statement another name for statement is proposition it is also called proposition a sentence which is either true or false but not both is called a statement or proposition types of sentences types of sentences number 1 assertive are declarative assertive or declarative sentence assertive or declarative sentence second imperative sentence muted imperative sentence third interrogative sentence for 
एक्सक्लामेटरी सेंटेंस ओपन सेंटेंस सो दीज आर द टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस सो इन दिस एग्जाम्पल गॉड ब्लेस मी इज exclamatory sentence now is it a statement or not no, no. Hmm. not a statement what about second one oh, i will get 100 percentile in mains 2021 what type of sentence it is इंपरेटिव Now, is it a statement or not? No. no. Hmm. Now, next four. Are you planning? Interrogative. Interrogative. Open. Is it a statement? No. Yes. No. No. It is not a statement. X square minus one equal to two x. Open. Open. Is a open sentence. Now, is it a statement? No. 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 Not a statement. Unless you say anything about x, then only it becomes a statement. Next, Nagpur is not a capital of Delhi. Assertive. Assertive. Hmm. Assertive. Are declarative. Is it a statement? Yes. 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 Hmm. yes. Is it a statement? Now, in the previously when you are writing the definition of statement, you have written that a sentence which is either true or false but not both is called a statement. You have written. In case if it is a both, it is called what? Paradox, right? A sentence which is true as well as false. A sentence which is true as well as false is called a paradox. Right? One example. Nobody goes to that restaurant. Nobody goes to that restaurant because it's too crowdy. Because it's too crowdy. Right? Another example. The following sentence is true. The above sentence is false. The following sentence is true. The above sentence is false so this you can remember it as some examples for paradox next so when we are saying a statement it has to be what the sentence must be true or false so for true we will use the symbol t and for false we use the symbol f uh. 
these are called truth values so truth value means it can be either true or it can be false so truth value means it can be either true or it can be false a statement which cannot be split further into two or more statements is called a simple statement example is roses are red compound are composite statement compound statement are composite statement combination of two are more statements is called a compound statement combination of two or more statements is called a compound statement right one example anta chalu karo da i am odd in lockdown and happy with the family logical connectives logical connectives to combine simple statements to combine simple statements we use some symbols called connectives or logical connectives to combine simple statements we use some symbols called connectives or logical connectives symbolic form verbal form name of compound statement symbolic form verbal form name of compound statement नंबर वन
the symbolic form it is like v shape what is the name of the verbal form r name of the compound statement disjunction <coughs> name of the compound statement is disjunction second one inverted v name of the verbal form is and junction name of the compound statement conjunction. is conjunction third similarity symbol verbal form not name of the compound statement negation or one more name is there daniel usually we will use negation name only but sometimes you can use daniel also fourth one so arrow mark showing to the right side direction verbal form what is the verbal form if then if then what is the name of compound statement simply name of compound statement implication conditional are implication conditional are implication fifth one arrow mark showing in both directions for the verbal form if and only if or in the simple way it can be written as i yeah yeah that is you have read as if and only if name of the compound statement by conditional or by implication the meaning of unary statement is what you are using only one statement for the negation symbol and meaning of binary statement means two statements will can be used for the remaining all forms that is remaining all connectives name of the compound statement truth table a tabular form a tabular form which shows the a tabular form which shows the truth value of given compound statement for all possible for all possible truth values of simple statements which are involved in it check once again a tabular form which shows the 
truth values of given compound statement for all possible truth values of simple statements which are involved in it now let us discuss one by one compound statement number 1 negation right in bracket symbol also but another name of negation i gave you n denial denial now truth table let us denote the statement as p then the negation of the statement you had to use this symbol that might write as negation of so p is a given statement and this will be the negation of the statement now whenever the statement is true the negation will become false and whenever statement is false the negation of the statement will become true this is a truth table add some examples also roses are red now i am denoting this as statement p then how to write the negation of the given statement roses are red now what the verbal form that you have used for the negation what is the verbal form that you have used for the negation not 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 that means you have to insert the word not in a appropriate position in this given statement that means where should i insert that word not is it in the beginning or in the middle or anywhere you have to use the word not in a appropriate uh, position whenever you are uh, writing the uh, negation ha uh, that means i should write as roses are not red red you should not write not roses are red so you have to use the word not in a proper position now we are having some other ways also to write the negation now what are the other ways are it is not the case that roses are red so another way of writing negation is it is not the case that roses are red that is just you are prefixing the given statement with it is not the case that one more way it is not true that roses are red one more way it is false that roses are red so these are the different ways to express the negation of a given statement so either you have to insert the word not in a appropriate position or it is not the case that or it is not true that or it is false that you have to prefix before the given statement let us write one more example root 3 is rational number so what the way of expressing negation what the preferable way of writing the negation 
which is preferable among all those which method of you want to write first hmm that means how to write is root 3 is not a rational ha uh, root 3 is not a rational number now here you prefer writing the negation as root 3 is not a rational number rather than writing root 3 is what irrational number so second is disjunction for the symbol is it v symbol inverted arrow i mean disjunction v symbol e down down now let us write the truth table for the disjunction now for this how many statement we have to use is two one is p q p sir your video is r q disjunction now so here we are using the two statements one is p another is q now you have to take all possible truth values of the given statement which are involved in it that is true 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 false false true false false so all possible cases we have to consider now so what is disjunction of p q that is p r q when the both the statements are true the disjunction will be again true only if one of the statement is true still also it will be true only in case if both the statements are false, false then only it will be false so you need to remember that disjunction will be false only when both the statements are false otherwise this will be always true only right one example Two is prime. Five is perfect square. Now, what the verbal form of disjunction? using these two statement what the verbal form and what the symbolic form so symbolic form is what p r q now tell me the verbal form for this what should i write or 2 is prime of 5 is perfect 2 is prime what the verbal form for the disjunction oh r Five is perfect square. Five is perfect square. Just you combine with the symbol R as the verbal form when you are writing verbal form. If it is just the truth value, then you write the truth value. Otherwise, just you express verbal form or symbol form. Now, can you tell me the truth value of this compound statement? True. 
truth value now what about the truth value of the first one two what about the truth value of the second one false false that means when one st one or statement is true so the truth value of the disjunction will be what true next third for the third one conjunction symbol inverted v now write the truth table here also the same manner p q p and q now here also again you will be having four cases true 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 false false true false false try to prefer always in this order only don't change the order don't write like first one is false false like that so always you prefer in this order only as per the textbook of the state board also now when p is true q is true so the conjunction will be what true only when p is true q is false it will be false in the next case also it is false again when both the statements are false yes. it is false that means conjunction of two statements will be true only when both the statement has to be true otherwise it will be always false only so you remember that conjunction is true only when both the statement has to be true now for the same example above you write the conjunction for the verbal form 2 is prime and 5 is perfect square now what about the truth value false false why because one is true one is false another is false so the truth value will be false so the conditional statement p implies q true always except one case that is a true statement cannot imply a false statement that is true implies false is false and in the similar way it is q implies p also and by conditional p double implies q which is also same as p implies q and q implies p that means this will be true when both the truth values of p and q must be same if both are true it is true when both are false also it is true in all the other cases it will be false that means if the truth value is opposite then it is false or remember that p implies q and q implies b that is conjunction of p implies q and q implies p negation of p implies negation of q will be considered as inverse of the given conditional and q implies p will be considered as converse for the given conditional and negation of q implies negation of p will be considered as con contra positive for the given conditional now in this is there any observation in the converse inverse and the contra positive or the observation the truth values of the conditional are it coincide anywhere contra positive hmm contra positive so these two are called equivalence statements that is conditional and contra positive that means whether you write the verbal form using the conditional or 
the verbal form using the contra positive the meaning will be the same because the truth value will be the same next is any other observation conversion converse and inverse are also truth values are same that means whether you use the verbal form q implies p or negation of p implies negation of q the meaning is always same now where such a type of converse inverse contra positive will be used is usually politicians will use so when you want to say some verbal form that is some sentences which are in the conditional form and if you want to utter the same in a different way then you can use a contra positive that is when you want to confuse to somebody also you can use this that is instead of using the conditional you can use contra positive or instead of using the converse you can use the inverse a teacher says if the student visit the science exhibition then he will get full marks that means the truth value that is the conclusion of the teacher will be considered as the truth value of the conditional statement then the conclusion of the teacher about the teacher will be considered as the truth value of the conditional now let us take the case wise now p is true q is true what is the meaning of this you are visiting the science exhibition and you are getting the full marks then what you will say about the teacher sentences what you will say about the teacher's conclusion that is a, about the teacher it will be what true only that you are visiting the science exhibition and you are getting full marks then you will say that the conclusion is true that is what this next second case for the second case p is true q is false now that means you have visited the science exhibition and you did not got any full marks that is false means what you will not get full marks then what you will conclude the teacher is saying is what false are you understanding yes now yes. for the third case false true what is the meaning of false you did not go to the ah, science you have not visited the science exhibition you have not visited the science exhibition but you are you will get full marks so you have not visited the science exhibition and you got full marks then still you have to consider the teacher statement will be as true only that is even though you have not visited the science exhibition but still you can get the full marks next fourth one p is false q is false you have not visited the science exhibition and you did not got full marks you have not visited the science exhibition and you did not got full marks in that case also the conclusion about the teacher sentence you had to consider as what true only in the conditional p implies q the first statement p is called hypothesis and the second statement q is called conclusion these are the names that you should remember in the conditional p implies q p is called hypothesis q is called conclusion and one more name for the statement p is antecedent another name for q is consequent
other equivalent forms of p implies q are one is if p then q that you know already that is p implies q you read as what if p then q another form is P is sufficient for Q. Q is necessary for P. That means these are the different ways or different forms that you should remember for the P implies Q. If P then Q. P is sufficient for Q. Q is necessary for P. So these are the minimum that you should remember. Or sometimes Q follows P also can be written. Q follows P. Write one example for P implies Q. Two plus three equal to seven implies four is perfect square. Tell me what is the truth value of this conditional statement? First, you write the individual truth value of the conditional statement. What's the first one? Two plus three equal to seven. What's the truth value? Four. False. False. What about the second one? Two. Four is a perfect square. True. Now, what's the implication now? What's the truth value of the implication now? True. False implies a true. Is what? True. True. Now, instead of implication, suppose if it is double implication, is there? Let us write another example. Otherwise, thirty-three is not a prime. Double implies one is prime. Tell me the truth value of the double implication. What is the truth value of double implication? Tell me the individual truth value first. Thirty-three is not a prime. Is it true or false? True. True. What about one is prime? False. False. Now, what the conclusion? That is what the truth value of the by implication. When one is true, one is false. It will false. be what? False. 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 Right next. Tautology. Tautology. T a u t o l o g y. Tautology. A compound statement which is always true. A compound statement which is always true is called a tautology. A compound statement which is always true is called a tautology. Now, simple example for tautology is 
negation of p r p check can you say this will be always true negation of p r p suppose if p is true then this will be what false and this will be true so the result will be what always true only next contradiction another name is fallacy contradiction or fallacy no can you guess what should be the definition contradiction or fallacy always false ah correct a compound statement which is always false a compound statement which is always false is called a contradiction now based on the previous can you say tell example negation of p and p check is it always false negation of p and p yes sir because one of them will be always false so it will be false only one more contingency contingency can you guess what should be definition for contingency a compound statement which is neither tautology nor a contradiction is called contingency a compound statement which is neither a tautology nor a contradiction is called contingency now previously i have written so many so in that you can take any one now can i say p implies q is it contingency because this is not always true so this is one example you can consider equivalent equivalent statements are equivalence two compound statements are said to be equivalent two compound statements are said to be equivalent if their truth values is always same two compound statements are said to be equivalent statement or equivalence when their truth values must be same or another way is by conditional of those compound statements by conditional of those compound statements must be true always 